Let's say you have a text and you want to get an array of all of the words in that text. You could use explode, for instance, if we have the sentence, this is a sentence. You could say parts equals explode. We want to split it by space, text, like this, and then we want to show all of the parts. all of the items in the array parts, echo, part, so let's see what we get. We get four words. Basically what it did was it split the text on spaces, which we defined here, and gave us this is a sentence with a period at the end. Almost what we want. We didn't want the period there. Explode also means, or can also be, or has a, an alias command called split. And if we want even more power, we can use preg split. Preg split is the same as split, it just uses regular expressions. So let's say, instead of sending a space here, we send a regular expression with our two slashes. And we need here backslash s to define white space. White space can be spaces or tabs, anything that is between words. Let's see if that works. Yes, it still works. It didn't get that period though, so let's extend it with an or here, or it can be a period, for instance. That has to be escaped out. So now we have each of the words in the sentence. If we have commas, for instance, this is a sentence and it is a longer sentence now. Has a comma in it. We need to get that. We can continue to add to our, we just need the comma there, comma and a space actually. So, and we can see we can make this more and more complex so that we can get all of the words out of the sentence that we need, something that would be much more difficult with explode or split.